Hi everybody, we're here today to look at my 1899 Locomobile, see it in action and learn a little bit of how it operates. Uh, the vehicle you're in front of you, as I said, is an 1899 Locomobile. It was made in the Stanley uh, Motor Carriage Company in Newton, Massachusetts. It was designed by the Stanley Brothers and built by the Locomobile Company. Uh, it's arguably, arguably the, the oldest production vehicle in America that's still running. Um, this was the first production uh, run of vehicles, there were 200 made, this is number 221. It's a steam powered vehicle, which means that it has a boiler, which is under the seat. And if you can pull in there, you can take a look at the boiler. Uh, it's the cylindrical object that is uh, encased with insulation. And of course there's water inside that, and when the water is heated up, it turns to steam. Underneath the boiler is a burner, which actually heats up the water. And that's run on gasoline. And um, we run at pressures of 160 to 200 uh, uh, pounds per square inch. Uh, once the uh, water is turned into steam, it is directed into the engine, which is under the, the front seat as well. And as you can see, there's two, two cylinders, just like on a locomotive and um, the, uh, there's no transmission, uh, there's no gears to shift. You turn on the steam and the engine goes um, to reverse it. There's a lever which you throw which reverses the, the uh, timing on the uh, uh, valves 180 degrees. And so instead of the steam coming into the top of the piston, it comes into the bottom of the piston, engine goes in reverse, and the car goes in reverse. So. I'll open up, I've got the rear wheels jacked up so we're not going to be taking off, otherwise we would. But I'm going to open the throttle a little bit, which is this lever right here. And you can see the engine in action. That, uh, the engine is connected to the rear axle by a chain, almost like a bicycle chain. Besides controlling the steam to the engine, which is your speed, forward or reverse, the only other controls is the steering, which is done with a tiller. And as you push this to the right or the left, almost like you have on a boat, you can see the front wheels will turn to the right or the left. Besides the, the tiller and the steam control, the only other control is the brake. So you've got the steam throttle, open to get you going forward. This stops you. The second lever over here puts you in reverse, changes the timing of the valves. As you can see, we're ready to go. We're actually, we're down to 80 pounds, so I'm going to get up a little more steam before we head out. But uh, as you can see, the steam gauge goes from, uh, uh, a, well, zero up to about uh, 240 PSI. We'll be running about 160 to 200 uh, pounds per square inch today. So I'm going to uh, now take it off the, the uh, the chalk and uh, get up a little more steam and then we'll take it on the road. Well, here we are again. As you can see, we did make it on the road. 
Um, an interesting thing about steam power is that as soon as I open this throttle, the steam pressure is at the pistons and you have all the power that, you, that, that the engine can deliver. So steam cars have a lot of acceleration uh, and capable of, of high speeds. Now in this case, I'm only drone to drive this about 15 miles an hour because I don't feel comfortable driving it any more than that. Um, but the acceleration, or again, for a car that's 118 years old, it's really remarkable. Oh, God.